So the vision of the Ottawa Hospital is to provide world-class care, exceptional service, and compassion for our patients and our families as if they were a loved one. We're not only focusing on providing patient care in a hospital setting, we're now starting to provide far more holistic care to a person in the community. And so to that end, we've really started to shift our focus around what is the healthcare system of Ottawa look like and how do we provide leadership for that within the city of Ottawa, but also within Canada and potentially globally. I never thought I would say that there was a silver lining to the pandemic or to COVID, but I would actually say doing the design of a hospital during this time, there was. It really allowed us to understand just how we we're designing the hospital and how flexible and adaptable the design needs to be to support our community. That is exactly what we've done with the new campus. Our design, our access points, the integration of different services is all being set up and designed for that flexibility and adaptability. We know that we will be there to serve our patients and our staff. Not only is the site centrally located in terms of the natural landscape, that surrounds that whole area, but it's also centrally located within the city of Ottawa from an access standpoint. LRT direct access to all of that infrastructure, access to bicycle pathways throughout the city, and vehicular access for those that come from far away, hours away that need care, with immediate parking adjacent to the main entrance of the hospital. So coming up the main entrance through the escarpment of mature trees into the main plaza, when you arrive into the facility, you can look back towards that main plaza, see the escarpment of mature trees, and when you come through the main door, you come back through an area where you see the central light well and a central garden, and you can see right back up through to the sky. Even though it's a very really large facility, the place that you come right into the building is the shortest distance to see back outside. From there, you can turn left or right to go to either main elements of the facility and the hospital and go up elevator lobbies. And when you come out of each of those elevator lobbies, you can see directly back out to the main central plaza where you came from. So you can understand where you are in the building at all times. What I believe we've done really well on this project is listening to a number of different people, whether it's our clinical team that treat the patients, whether it's the patients themselves and their experiences and what could be done differently. Whether it is the loved ones who are supporting and bringing those patients and, and how we could actually incorporate that. Whether it's going out into our community and looking at what's important to them. We are guided by the Indigenous Peoples Advisory Circle at the Ottawa Hospital a group of community volunteers who are informing us on what they want to see in their hospital of tomorrow. This is an opportunity once in a lifetime to be guided by the stewards of the land here in Algonquin territory, where we are working on relationships that have reciprocal trust, values, and enriched services specifically for the First Peoples in this territory. It is going to be wonderful here in Ottawa to see Indigenous languages on our walls being translated into the services that we offer and, of course, ensuring that we have the spaces that feel welcoming where families can be with their loved one, sometimes at their most vulnerable time. There's so much that excites me about the new campus. It's that single patient room with its own bathroom. So each single patient room will be fully accessible. Fully accessible for patients, their families, but also staff members to be able to assist and help patients into a flexible washroom area that opens directly onto each patient room and is a washroom that serves just that patient. The other thing that's in the room that I think is really important is the access to natural light. We will have a floor to ceiling window that you can look out to see that landscape that is outside your window. Every floor in the new hospital will have an all access washroom. It will be gender neutral. It will have a large wheelchair turning radius as well as an adult change table. 
We are exceeding accessibility standards in many areas and actually incorporating best practices of universal accessibility throughout the new campus. There's no question that being part of our community, that part of our design is to be very committed to environmental sustainability and improve the health of our planet. I believe the strength of this project is in its simplicity. It avails of an incredible natural site in which it sets itself within mature trees and develops a wayfinding strategy that builds and enhances on that natural realm. Over the course of a decade, we will build somewhere between three and four million square feet of new, very advanced uh, hospital infrastructure for the community. And so really what it is, is it's, yes, it's building a hospital, but it's actually building a cornerstone of the delivery of healthcare in this community.